What is up everyone in the Ripple and XRP community? Good morning, happy Friday. It is July 22nd. It's not a payday Friday, but it's still a Friday. We still got a weekend to look forward to. I can't wait. Listen, had a late night last night. I was out with no hands, Jimmy. We were going over all of the metaverse Excel sheets and creating a paid and non-paid list. And there was so many entries and wallets, duplicate wallets. We had to match everything up. It took, I don't even know. I think it was like five hours, six hours. It took a while. I'm tired, but I'm here and I'll always be here. Now, as we move forward, for those of you who do not know, the Lux Lions did a little silent launch over into Discord for the metaverse. The Lux Lion Oasis is coming to life and it is coming to life sooner than you think, folks. We are selling plots and we are selling them like no other. We will start officially taking this to the YouTube and Twitter scene. Today should be the day we get the credit card payment up and running on the site so people can pay in credit cards, making it fast and convenient for all you non-crypto people out there. And for all you crypto people out there, you know, if you don't, if you want to get some sky mileage, go ahead, use a credit card, buy some land. You're not going to want to miss out on this metaverse. It is one of the largest metaverses that you are going to see built, and especially with the connections that we have made. I talk about this all the time. Get to the Discord, get yourself some land. It's not going to be around forever. Now, in this video, what are we about to discuss? I'll tell you what we're about to discuss because things are getting spicy out there and things are heating up. Brad Gollinghouse goes on the attack at to the SEC. I'll show you the tweet. We're going over it. Absolute genius. Brilliant what this man said. Fox Business talking about stable coins. You got to hear this. My boy Charlie Payne's on the scene. Coinbase. Folks, I don't know if you've been keeping up the news, but Coinbase is in a lot of trouble. I mean a lot of trouble. Between insider trading, between all the tokens that they got listed on their site that the SEC just deems securities. There's a lot going on, and I don't know what's going to happen to Coinbase, folks. We're going to go over that as well. So without further ado, like we always do on this channel, let's head over to Live Coin. Watch what's the market doing. We're seeing a little bit of green in the past 24 hours right total cryptocurrency market caps up bitcoin dominance is down bitcoin's up 2.39 percent the past 24 hours coming at twenty three thousand four hundred forty eight dollars remember all these numbers to me don't mean anything until bitcoin breaks 29.5 if we break 29.5 we can say hip hip hooray we're going up until then it's all smoke and mirrors right now Ethereum, $1,628. It's currently up 8.37%. I do think Ethereum makes a run closer to $1,800 to $2,000. Not financial advice, just what I'm seeing out there. Binance US stablecoins back above its dollar peg, folks. Well, means one of two things. Someone's preparing for a little bit of a dump or someone's about to buy in. XRP coming in at 0.367. That is 36 seven cents. It is up 3.64% in the past 24 hours. Now, as I grab a sip of my coffee and we work our way through the news, let's head over to the XRP store. I want everyone to look <clears throat> at these beautiful items. And I want you to look at these because this shipment of these glasses just got in. They are all handmade on order. These are the Etch Pilsner glasses, 19 ounces. You need to go pick up a couple. Now, Jack, my man Jack puts this out on this. You can never forget this clip. It's an oldie, but this will forever be a goodie. This is Brad Gollinghouse on stage in 2018 at the Sing Talk, Sing, Singapore Fintech Festival, can't speak, with Ross Lockow, who was the IMF Deputy General Counsel at the time. Let's just listen what happens. You want to take one? Go for it. The first one's for you. IMF. Do you see IMF holding crypto assets in the future? I did not put that up there. Remember, I'm from the legal department. I'm supposed to be very conservative about these things. Um, I, I don't want to go into great details about Maybe the Maybe I IMF. should take what the yeah, IMF is going to uh, do. Uh, Genius. Maybe you should take it, Brad, because we all know what the IMF is going to do. The IMF is going to hold cryptocurrencies. There is no if, ands, buts about it. The question is, what are they going to hold? And I could probably bet dollars to donuts, it's not going to be Bitcoin. Now, my man Mike Manfeld sent this out. Ripple's partner, ACI. Remember, we've gone over ACI. They, they do $14 trillion a day. And yes, they do leverage DLT technology and Ripple as stated on their website. Well, they stated... But they announced 
that IR, a leading global provider of performance management and analytics for payment ecosystems, has extended its partnership with ACI to include enriched end-to-end -end enterprise transaction monitoring. ACI's worldwide 2022 prime time for real-time global payments reports forecast that real-time payment transaction volume will rise from $118 billion all the way up to $427 billion by 2026. Folks, it's almost a 4x. That is massive. Massive. And what have I always stated to you? You need real-time payments before you get real-time settlements. This is a step in the right direction. This is what we want to see. Now, Weezy puts this out. Remember when Joe Lubin said, we'll get some very good clarity in 2018 before the Hinman speech? I do. How did he know this? How is he so confident that clarity was coming? You want to talk about insider trading? Like we're about to touch on after this with the SEC? You want to talk about insider trading? Why aren't we talking about this guy and who he was in bed with? Why aren't we talking about Vitalik? You want to talk about insider trading? We need to be bringing these two into the picture and get Jay Clayton back and get William Hinman back. Then we could sit them down and talk about insider trading. We are also issuing utility tokens that represent uh, membership on platforms, uh, consumer access to something, consumption of scarce resources like a decentralized storage system. Uh, regulators around the world and in this country uh, do understand that these um, protocol-based open platforms uh, are a new way of uh, creating ecosystems that will deliver services to consumers and, and you can uh, use these tokens to operate these platforms. So uh, we're very confident in our ability to issue those tokens and have them not uh, considered securities and uh, we're very confident that although there will be some negative news coming out uh, in the ecosystem around some of the projects that have sold tokens, uh, there's going to be some very positive news and we'll get some real good clarity in 2018. Man, it's like he knew the whole speech that was about to come out, now, didn't he? And he knew the angle that the SEC was about to take. Is that, does this not scream inside a trading to you? It does to me. Now, Coinbase. This is Paul Greenwald. He's the chief legal officer of Coinbase. Listen to this. He says Coinbase doesn't list securities, period. Well, hey, you said enough right there. We should send this video. XRP wasn't a security, still isn't a security. So you're right. I'm proud of you. We 100% disagree with the SEC's assertion that any of the crypto assets we listed are securities. Coinbase has a rigorous process to analyze and review each digital asset before making it available on our exchange a process that the SEC itself has reviewed. We have cooperated with both the Department of Justice and the SEC on this investigation. The Department of Justice reviewed the same facts and chose not to file securities fraud charges against those involved. This is another example of regular regulations by enforcement on behalf of the SEC, which is not an effective or transparent approach to regulations. Uh, you know, Coinbase, where have you been during this whole Ripple vs. SEC lawsuit? That's what I want to know. Where have you been? And now you're tweeting out why? Because Coinbase is, uh, the SEC is coming after you for a bunch of tokens you listed on your exchange that are securities. Where have you been? You've never stepped down and said anything, but all of a sudden, you want everyone to get your back here, and you think what you're doing is right, and you always thought, oh, the SEC, they, they, they never come to us, even though we've we've spoken with them. The same story and dance we hear from all these people. Ripple tells you all the time, this is the process. You walk into the SEC's office because they say, come talk to us. You say, this is what I got. This is how it's being sold. Bada beam, bada boom. Coinbase says, that's great. You walk out the door, they're calling the legal team. They're saying, sue them. It's a freaking joke. It is a joke. You got FinCEN declaring a thing, XRP, a virtual convertible currency, a virtual currency. And now you got SEC somehow stepping in saying security. A currency can't be security. It's that simple, folks. And now Coinbase is in deep, deep crap because then look what we got here. Former Coinbase manager and two others are charged in a crypto insider trading action scheme. The Securities and Exchange Commission today announced insider trading charges against a former Coinbase product manager. 
his brother and his friends for perpetrating a scheme to trade ahead of multiple announcements regarding certain crypto assets that would be made available for trading on the Coinbase platform. The SEC complaint alleges that while employed at Coinbase, Ezen Weha helped to coordinate the platform's public listing announce announcement, including what crypto assets the token would be made available for trading. Folks, it all makes sense. We've seen, where is it? Look at this. Here are the assets, right? When these things were getting listed on Coinbase, everyone was sitting back saying, what are these? I've never even heard of them. RGT, Rally, Power Ledger, DFX Finance, Chrome. Never heard of them, folks. Everyone's sitting there and like, okay, listen, we understand why XRP isn't listed, but um, you, you, you kind of skipped HBAR in that list. You know, you, you skipped most of the top 10 and you listed these crap coins, these shit coins. Why? It all makes sense. We know why now. Because the guy behind coordinating the public listing of these tokens was freaking inside trading them. I'll tell you something though. He didn't do a good job because him and his three partners only made $1 million. If you knew Coinbase was about to list a token, why are you only making $1 million? This guy didn't do it right. Let's be honest about it. But it all makes sense why we've seen all these weird tokens popping up, right? It all makes sense. And remember we used to talk about the Coinbase pump? When an asset would list and we got the Coinbase pump, that makes sense as well. We got a Coinbase pump. I have a feeling because this man, when he first got going, he knew, I'm going to buy these. And then they're going to pump and then I'm going to dump them. And then he kind of, I think he kind of caught on that someone got wind of him. And you've seen the Coinbase pump really just slowly and go away. Folks, absolutely insanity what's going on there. So talking about this, nine assets in question. The SEC saying are now securities. Amp, Rally, Deverdex, XYO, Rary Government's token, LCX. LCX is a big one. Power Ledger, DFX Finance, and Chrome. And top it all off, we got Brad coming out and saying powerful words from Commission of Fam. Regulatory clarity comes from being out in the open, not in the dark. Unfortunately, the SEC seems more than content to operate in the ladder. 100% right. 100% right, Brad. You tell them. You let it be known. Now, Coinbase is letting it be known. Folks, if you're not waking up and smelling the coffee, Coinbase or the SEC is coming after the entire industry. Coinbase is the first. And Binance US will be next. Bittrex will be next. They're going to sue all of these exchanges because nobody knows what's a security, what's not a security, because the SEC is sitting in the dark and operating and not telling anyone anything. It is a freaking joke. That's going to do it for me. Wash your damn hands. Be nice and be kind to of each other. Ripple Van Winkle is out.